We are going to go through six perspective drawing tips and tricks in this video. Um, so make sure you follow along and write the definition. I also have my own photographs that will come up so that you can see these tips and tricks in real life. Make sure you copy down the definition and the picture in each box. So the first one that we're going to do is lines. Lines converge or go together um, as they go further back in space. So make sure you write down your definition on your sketchbook. For the drawing for this, we're gonna have very simple drawings inside of this uh, box here. Draw a horizon line and lines. So there's a vanishing point and our lines are going to go back to the vanishing point in the distance like a, a road. Our second one is overlapping. When objects overlap, you know that one is closer to you and one is farther away. So overlapping shows objects in front of one another. You can really draw anything overlapping in the uh, box to the right. I'm going to draw a um, cereal bowl and a box of cereal. So my bowl is going to be in front of it. So I'm going to draw what's closer first. And then I'm going to draw my box of cereal behind it. Again, you can draw anything you would like as long as they are overlapping. All right, next we have size. If you were to look off in the distance, things are going to look smaller as they get farther away. So smaller objects are further away and objects that are closer are larger. I know that seems very um, simple and yes, of course you know that, um, but we also need to talk about placement, which is the next one. They pretty much go hand in hand. So again, smaller objects are further away. Objects, sorry, that comma was big. Objects closer are larger. So I'm going to draw a simple tree and my tree up close is going to be um, close to the bottom of the page and then and large and my tree in the distance there is going to be small. Still need a horizon line but it's going to be smaller. So. Let's talk about placement, which is our next one. I'll keep the tree in the image in the um, screen there. But four is placement. So when we're talking about placement, we're talking about where objects are placed on your piece of paper. Items or objects that are placed higher on the paper are further away. And objects that are placed lower are closer. So I'm gonna do the tree again, and you can see that kind of from our previous one here that the tree that is bigger and closer 
is on the bottom part of the page. Talking about down here, okay? The tree that is smaller and further away is higher up on the page up here. So again, drawing that little tree and my horizon line. But it's all about where you place it on the page here, kind of where I marked with the arrows. If I was to place a smaller tree down here, then it really just looks like a smaller tree. It doesn't look like it's further away. So you have to put placement and size pretty much together on that in order for it to actually look far away and not just a, a smaller version. All right, the last two, we have details. So things that are further away have less detail because they're harder to see. Makes sense. Things further away, writing this down, have less detail. Close up things have more detail. That's like if I um, was looking at a student's necklace in class and I'm right there next to the table, I could probably tell you the details of that necklace. But if they, oh my goodness, don't know what happened there. Um, I, if they're further away on the other side of the classroom, then I probably cannot see any details in their necklace. So for this, again, closer Things are placed at the bottom of the paper. So my details, my pen's a little too thick for details right now, um, but details like grass and texture in the grass, that's gonna be up close, or if I had a flower there or something like that, where if I had mountains in the background, they really don't have much detail, okay? Last one is color. So if you were to look at a picture, of, it's more visible in um, places where there's not trees blocking and you can see really far in the distance, but colors are more vibrant closer up. and they dull as they're further away. So I used to live in Arizona and you could see the desert for miles and miles and the mountains further away were more dull than a, like a cactus that was up close. For our projects, you do not need to add color, um, but this is a helpful tip to know down the line if you are creating pieces with color, especially painting. So obviously I could switch to a million colors on here. Um, I'm just going to draw, I see what happened. My size change. Um, I'm gonna draw my grass and my mountains again. And I am going to use like a bright green for the grass up here, nice and vibrant. Switch to another green. And then the hills that are further away are going to be, maybe make it a dull or brown. Dull just means not bright and vibrant. Um, kind of grayish to, even these colors are a little too vibrant for it. But when you got up close, maybe those, those hills are um, more green or 
whatnot. All right, <laughs> we're just gonna color in here. Anyway, so there's those are your um, six tips and tricks. You will need to use a certain number of these on your drawing, uh, but make sure you have these all down in your notebook. And let me know if you have any questions about these tips and tricks.